Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2 has already gotten leaked and it's looking absolutely insane. We're going to be showcasing some of the upcoming Battle Pass skins and some of the brand new bosses for the next season along with new gameplay mechanics that we've never seen before. And if you guys want to be gifted in the next video, all you have to do is drop a like, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, and leave your epic usernames down in the comment section below. And a huge shout out to everyone using code NERP2 in the Fortnite item shop. You guys are legends and make all the giveaways possible so thank you so much for all the support so it was confirmed by data miners that chapter 5 season 2's overall theme is heavily suggested to be greek mythology and greek god related which is a theme that we've all kind of been wanting in fortnite for quite some time it was originally confirmed by sam leaks who said all evidence to suggest chapter 5 season 2 is greek mythology season for starters there's actually 16 greek mythological gods that have their own survey skins in fortnite skin survey that they send out every Every single month and as you guys can see we have a quick overview of every single one to start out we have Aphrodite Apollo Ares which is personally a really cool looking one Artemis we have Athena the warrior Hermes Hades, Hephaestus, who I've actually never heard of, but personally, he's my favorite one out of these 16 different survey skins that relate to Greek gods. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments, which one is your favorite. We also have Medusa, which would look absolutely insane. The Minotaur, Cerberus, Artemis with another style. So this would confirm that she is definitely gonna be in the battle pass because we already have different bonus styles and super styles that are related to her in the survey already. Then we also have Persephone, Hermes again, and then we also have two more unknown Greek looking related mythological gods, but people don't know what they are as of yet. Again, those could be bonus styles for other skins that get released in this season's battle pass, but that is one hint at why that we think it's going to be based around Greek mythology. It was also confirmed by data miners that the chapter five season two code name in Fortnite's files right now is Aga. And after doing a little bit of research, the meaning of Aga is derived from the same root as the ancient Greek word Aga, which means goat. And and it actually has a full phrase meaning, which means the land with many goats, which I don't really know how this relates to the new season, but this is the code word that Fortnite are currently using. So we do know it is connected to the Greek times. Now, along with this, Winzo did confirm that currently the code name includes five different WIP bosses and their own spawn locations around the map. So this does confirm that chapter five, season two will have five different bosses, probably five different skins and characters from that season's battle pass. And most likely, Likely, these bosses will also have their own medallions and different mythic weapons that we're going to be talking about later in the video. Now, he also confirms that there are also three different spawn locations for new NPCs that are codenamed Aga Z and Aga C, which some people think is Fortnite's way of codenaming Cerberus and Zeus as two potential Greek gods that we would get in the battle pass and also as their own bosses. And we have further evidence found in the files that confirms Zeus is going to be a new boss in Chapter 5 Season 2. Winzo again confirmed and tweeted saying here's an early look at an Aga NPC spawn effect which is the one found in the files related to this new season if you are hit by the lightning then your HP will be drained away slowly the file doesn't specify which NPC it will spawn but I personally assume it will be the previously leaked Aga Z skin since that is most likely going to be the one that is Zeus and as you guys can see this is the new lightning effect that is actually going to be happening for this new boss and there's really only one reason why lightning would be spawning on a boss NPC in the first place and that's because Zeus is the god of thunder and now that we know the lightning is actually something that will drain your HP it sounds like the lightning could also be an attack or some sort of effect that the boss does to regen his health and if you're too close it sounds like it'll damage you and slowly take away HP over time like a poison effect now something else people were also speculating here in the Fortnite community had to go along with the code name that was found in the files Aga that we mentioned previously in the video, but they went on to say Aga, the code name of season two, could be an anagram for Gaia, who was the Greek goddess of Earth. So this potentially, again, could be Fortnite's way of hiding another potential Greek goddess that is going to be in the battle pass, which is the Greek goddess of Earth. Obviously, Fortnite and their designers could have a really, really awesome design for this kind of skin that's based around this earthy feel. Aga is a Samoan for family, and the Greek god Pantheon is known to have a big family, so there also might be a family type 
I connected with some of the Greek gods that are added in game, and I'm sure Fortnite is going to be connecting them to the storyline in some way, shape, or form as well. Data Miners also confirmed and tweeted saying, according to the API, Chapter 5 Season 1 is ending on March 8th, which is the end date for this season, in case you guys weren't aware. So we still are over two and a half months away, which is crazy that we have this much early information about the next season already. But what's weird about this is according to the files, the season ends on March 8th, but Chapter 5 Season 2's API is not set to start until March 9th, which is a 24-hour downtime, which is much longer than we're used to for normal season update downtimes. This is leading a lot of people to think that this is either a really long downtime or a placeholder for a possible live event, which would be really cool. This would be one of the first times ever that we actually had a live event in the first season of a brand new chapter. But considering Chapter 5 is drastically different than all the other chapter updates we've seen with all the different modes and the direction Fortnite's going, I wouldn't be surprised if this is the time that they throw a curveball and give us some sort of live event that leads us into the Greek mythology theme that it seems going to be in Chapter 5 Season 2. Now, along with the theme and cosmetics for this next season, we also have some information about brand new gameplay mechanics getting added as well that don't really have to do with the Greek mythology theme, but they are new mechanics we've never seen before in Fortnite Battle Royale, and it's very exciting. Again, this information is coming from Wendell who tweeted saying Epic is currently working on a rope swinging movement mechanic. You'll be able to swing from fixed ropes and chandeliers that you can find around the map in different locations, probably in some of the brand new POIs coming in season two. So this will be brand new and allow you to get around the map really quickly depending on where you are. And along with this, he also confirmed saying in addition to rope swinging, Epic is working on a rope raffling as a new chapter five movement mechanic. You'll be able to climb up ropes that you can find around the map. This does include the swinging ropes and chandeliers from the previous tweet. So again, this is going to be a new mechanic and a new part of the map that's going to be found. It kind of seems like Fortnite's just trying to switch up how these zip lines are working. And instead of it being a normal zip line, it is now going to be you actually going up ropes. I don't know if this is going to make the game slower or faster. We don't have a lot of information, but it is very interesting that Epic is currently working on this for a new movement mechanic that we've not really seen in Fortnite ever. Now, finally, to end the video, we have a really awesome concept of a Greek mythology themed Fortnite bundle that someone made here a part of the Fortnite community. As you guys can see, it is in like the old school kind of like drawing on the wall type art design with the color scheme and how rough the lines actually look. And I think it's really unique in a really good way. We have the Beta Bomber, which is a pink color scheme and looks amazing. We have Alpha Jonesy with the red. He looks more like a warrior. And then finally, we have Omega Team Leader which fits perfectly and again all three of these look amazing I really think whoever made this did a really really good job so let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below based on all the information and concepts and some of the survey skins for the battle pass are you guys excited for chapter 5 season 2 as we get more information over these next few months we will be posting updated videos covering everything you guys need to know so make sure to subscribe if you're not already turn on notifications and leave your epic usernames I'm gonna be gifting a ton of you guys the new battle pass as we get closer thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy, my friends.